The default settings for EMG and nerve conduction procedures are based on their descriptions in literature. However, if you want, you can change them and fine-tune them to meet your laboratory requirements. In this video, I am going to describe three types of configurations. Changing the result table in a test, so you can decide which measurements you would like to see on screen. Changing the report settings for a test, so you can decide how the data is presented in the report. For example, do you want waveforms or not? And finally, how you can fine-tune settings for individual protocol. For example, changing the amplifier settings for a nerve conduction study. I will illustrate these configuration changes using sensory nerve conduction study as example. To make these changes, it is not necessary to input the patient demographic data. We can start by clicking on Begin Testing. Let's select the sensory nerve conduction test. Choose any nerve and click on OK. Let's look at our result table. At present, it contains the recording site, onset latency, peak latency, negative peak amplitude, and also peak to peak amplitude. The segment table below contains the distance, peak latency difference, and onset velocity. These are the default settings. Let's say I don't like to use the velocity measurements and I would like to take it out of the result table. Here is the procedure. Click on the results and then on table options. Now we can see our current result table. To remove a result, for example velocity in this case, click on the triangular button at the center on that row. This will show you a large result table. In this video you cannot see all the entries in this table. But at the top of this table there is an entry called off. So I'm going to click on off to remove the velocity result from my result table. And similarly, you can remove other results, for example, the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude or the peak difference and so on. To add a result, we can click on the triangular button at the center on any blank row. So I will click over here and let's say I changed my mind, I decided to use the takeoff velocity. So I will click on takeoff velocity to reinsert it in my result table. I can change the default label for this result, click into the cell and type the desired label. On the extreme right column, you can define the precision of measurements. I like to report velocities as integer values. That means there should be no digit after the decimal point. So I can choose this by clicking on the down arrow and choose zero. So now the velocity values will be reported as integers. So it is in this manner you can adjust your result table. You can remove results, you can add results, you can change the labels of the results, and you can change the precision of the results. After making changes, click on the OK button. Let's now look at reporting the test findings. This is accessed by clicking on results and then test report options. By default, whatever numerical data is shown on the acquisition screen, that's the data that is also shown in a tabulated format in the report. And that's why we have a selection of table as test screen. The default settings place waveforms in the report. Let's say if you don't want waveforms in your report, simply remove the check mark next to the waveforms. Click on OK. This is a button at the bottom of this table, which you cannot see in the video. And we have made the change. So we have adjusted the result table. We have adjusted the report settings. To make these changes permanent, I'm going to click on System and Save Settings. I'm going to exit the test. So the changes to the result table and report settings we are applied to all protocols within the sensory nerve conduction study. 
but we haven't made any changes to the sensory NCS corporal tunnel test or the combined sensory index test. So in order to make these changes, we'll have to enter those tests again and make the changes as I just illustrated. Now, sometimes you may want to make changes to the acquisition settings for specific nerve conduction study. So let me use motor nerve conduction study as example. And I'm going to choose the median nerve test. Click on OK. My default amplifier settings are 2 milliseconds per division and 5 millivolts per division. Let's say I like to do the study at 5 milliseconds per division. So I'm going to change the time base using the console. That's 5 milliseconds. I'm going to make it 2 millivolts per division. Let's say I also like to use a stimulus duration of 0 0.1 milliseconds. So I can drop down over here, choose 0 0.1 milliseconds. Once I'm satisfied with my changes, I can make them permanent by clicking on system and save settings. So this is the way I have reconfigured my stimulator and amplifier slash display settings for the median nerve. I can do the same process for the ulnar and other nerves. So once you start using your system, every time you go into a new nerve protocol, just change the settings as you like, and then click on system save settings. Now I'm going to discuss one final setting, which is a little bit uh, difficult to access for changing the default settings. And that is the default distance that is used in nerve conduction studies. Here is the way to change it. Click on System, Test Configuration. I will go into Motor Nerve Conduction Study. I'm going to choose the Median Nerve and I'm going to click on Edit Protocol and keep clicking on Next until you see the table with the stimulation sites. Here is the default distance of 8 centimeters. Let's say I want to change it to 7. I will click into the cell type in the new value and then click on next, next and then finish. So I have changed the default distance for the median nerve and you can use the same strategy for the other nerves. I will click on OK. So this change becomes effective from the next patient. I will exit the test for the time being. So to summarize, it is quite easy to change the report table configuration. Just go into the study, click on results and use table options. You can also change your report settings by including or excluding waveforms. You can change your individual nerve test settings at the time of test. Just make the changes, click on system and save settings. And there are a few settings that are rather difficult to change while we are performing the test and those are accessed by going through the system and test configuration dialog. So by making these small changes you can easily customize your system to meet your laboratory protocols and report settings.